When you were working, and you said you worked for several weeks, and you worked for several weeks while you were still in the grandmother's house, or um, afterwards? A little bit, and then after. So you worked for a little bit while you were living in the grandmother's house? Yes. And when you were living in the grandmother's house and working, what hours were you working? I was working from 4 to 10, 4 to 12. Who was taking care of your son? He was. But while... Shut up! Okay. I didn't ask you a question. So when you were working from 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. and he was taking care of his son, and then you were working sometimes 4 to 12, and you were working from 4 to 12, and Mr. Stevens was taking care of his son, right? Why wouldn't he have the opportunity to see his son since May? He has seen him for weeks, a few times. It's just recently that I have cut it off. What do you mean he's seen him a couple of times? What does that mean? Um, I would let him see him every Tuesday and every Friday. From when to when and where? At 6 to 7. Where? At our city park. Are you still living with your grandmother? Yes, Your Honor. What's wrong with you? What's wrong is that he will cause trouble while... We were visiting, and one time we actually had to have a p police officer who was off duty, though, come up and try to settle Why don't you stuff. just, you have a lawyer? Yes. How did you get the lawyer? Through legal aid. Tell the lawyer that you want to set a fixed visitation schedule so that your son can visit with his father on a regular basis, because his father used to take care of him when you weren't there, and not at a park for an hour with you there, at a regular time. And as far as I'm concerned, I don't know if you have the time or the money. She has legal aid, so legal aid won't represent you, so therefore you have a problem. You understand that? Yes. But I assume you want to see him. Yes, I, I have hired a lawyer. Good. And I'm hoping that since you hire a lawyer, the lawyer will make arrangements for you to see your son on a regular basis. Hopefully, if you work during the week, on weekends and stuff, why wouldn't he have the need for the baby's furniture? Who bought the baby's furniture? I got it all from my baby showers. So it was gifts for the baby? Yes. It stays in his house. Baby gifts. Just because you're de depriving him of seeing his child, a child that you let him watch when it was convenient for you, and now your lawyer says, don't let you see him at all. I don't know what kind of brilliant lawyer that is. Doesn't mean he's going to give you all the furniture so he has nothing. Get a job and buy furniture. May I say something? You can say whatever you like. Um, while I was living with him, he would come home from school. And I'm like, hey, can you take our son so I can take a shower and eat before I go to work? And he was like, no, because your shift isn't over. I need the extra half an hour to do whatever I want before I watch it. Well, let me explain something to you. That's what happens when two idiot morons who were 17 years old make a baby. Those are the kind of answers that people give each other when they're not old enough to give up their dolls, but they make a baby. Now you're in this pickle. You're 18 years old and you have the responsibility of having a child. Well, you'd better grow up very fast. Um, since he has a job, he will not provide for Oliver. I would ask for diapers. Even when he was seeing him, I would ask for diapers or wipes. Seeing him is not at your discretion. I think that if you were smart, Miss Bassett, who seems to have an interest in you, would say, why don't you go to a mediator and work something out so that he's working during the week and he should be paying a certain amount of support for his son, for you, and you have to get busy and find daycare and get a job and get a life, but in the meantime, he's working, you're not. And he should be supplying some support for his son. You would agree with that? Yes, sure. Can I also and at the same time, he should be seeing him regularly because the nonsense that you give me is nonsense because you left him alone with the baby from 4 to 10 at night and 4 to midnight when you weren't home. So you weren't concerned that he wasn't taking care of him because if you were concerned that, was... that he wasn't taking care of him, you wouldn't have left him home. Can I say something? I allowed him to watch Oliver while I worked when I was living with him from 4 to 10 twice before. The second time, he withheld him from me for two days would not let me see him, touch him, or anything. I had to go to the police four times. Just a second. So what you're saying is, the last time that you let him watch him, he wouldn't return him. Yes. <laughs> well, let me ask you this question. And you thought that that was very wrong, right? Yes. Because you're the baby's mother, right? Yes. You're no more of a parent than he is. When you left his grandmother's house, the place where the baby was born, you didn't leave the baby there. You took the baby with you, right? Yes. What gives you the right to do that? What gives you... That's what I'm trying to get to you. What gives you the right more than the father to have the physical custody of that child? And if you think it's just because you're the mother, that's not the law.